Hey farm hands, Farm Bear Reefer, welcome back to the lab. So I got a really nice episode for you guys to check out. So what's going on today is I have some new designer clownfish for you guys, finally for uh, Tatuan. The, the tank's been waiting for them. I finally end up uh, getting them, had been quarantined for a while now. I want to make sure they don't have any diseases that can harm any of my other fish mates that are in the tank. So from our previous episodes, we had Krypton. We ended up putting uh, two beautiful uh, grade 8 Picassos in that one. And then Asgard behind me, we put some grade 8 uh, black ice. And then finally for Tatuan, I have grade 8 uh, Da Vinci clowns. These guys are great. Uh, it's awesome. I can't wait to show you guys. They have a beautiful pattern on them. So how are they... Uh, made these ones well they were crossed between a Wyoming white and Oscillaris clown so they end up getting this beautiful pattern guys I can't wait to show you so before you end up getting them into your tank you make sure you quarantine them to make sure they're disease free as well and then before you end up putting them into your main display you want to acclimate them and what does that mean well you want to make sure the temperature is the same and the salinity because you don't want to shock that fish you want to give it a fighting chance as well guys so I'm going to show you guys up close and personal and then we're going to get over to Tatuan. We're going to place these two Da Vinci's in there and learn a little bit of information about them. Here we go. So here's our Da Vinci's as you guys can see. So we can get them up nice and close with them. They've got a beautiful pattern on them. As you see that? So that's a cross between a Wyoming White and Ocellaris. Where's the other one? So I hope that you know these two are going to mate up. Always remember when you're clowns, usually the biggest one always becomes the female in the group. Oh, they're looking great. They've been quarantined for about, I want to say, two weeks. I always want to make sure they all look perfect before I put them into my tank so they don't harm any other of their fish mates. Got a beautiful pattern on them. All right, so let's uh, go over to Tatuan and get them into their new home. All right, so I'm with uh, Tatuan. So we're going to grab our new clowns. These are really nice uh, Da Vinci. So I'm going to get one here. Place it in. There's one. Man, I really like the pattern on these guys. I'm a big, uh, I'm a big clown fan myself. That's why I want to try to get some nice clowns for these tanks. There we go. So we got both of them in there. So I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to get some uh, nice uh, anemones and like a rose bubble tip. Try to get something uh, really unique for these guys, and hopefully uh, enough uh, the enemy's going to host them as well. So I'll try to bring you guys in close so you guys can see them swim around and we'll learn a little bit of information about them. It's looking really good, guys. Sorry if the water doesn't look as clear. I just did a water change. All right, so I got him right here in the corner. So this is the Da Vinci clown. Like I said before, he's a new designer clown. Um, he's crossed between a Wyoming white and an Ocellaris. They have that beautiful, unique pattern on them. As you guys can see, the white with the orange and the black. Can't beat that. So why do you call him Da Vinci? Well, we already have a Picasso, so why not add a Da Vinci? So the temperament on these fish are similar to the Ocellaris clown. They're very peaceful. They're beautiful to have in the tank. Um, they'll end up uh, going with your, your, your rose metal tip anemone. Sometimes they'll go right in your torches or as well. Um, so it's try to keep a nice anemone for them and make them really happy. All right, gang? So this is uh, the Da Vinci I wanted to show you guys. Excited to have them. I got a bunch of different designer clowns fishing here. You never know what else is going to be coming, guys. All right, so that's the <clears throat> all right, so that's the choices I end up making for all these three tanks. So we got our Da Vinci's now. So as we keep moving forward, you never know. Maybe I'll get a couple other different clowns. We never know. But right now we're all set up. So as we're moving forward, I'm going to try to get three different anemones for each tank, uh, a different species, so you guys can learn a little bit different about those. And the corals are soon to be going in. We could have some torches in here. And sometimes uh, the clowns are known to uh, host torches as well, all different kinds of corals. So it's going to be interesting to see where uh, these ones will end up uh, hosting up. So we'll end up, we're going to watch these uh, clowns grow together for a long time and uh, watch these tanks mature. As you guys can see, it's a little foggy right now. I did a water change. Shouldn't have done it right away, but I ended up doing it. But things are looking good. The tang's there. We've got our uh, reef chromies. Everybody's happy. I can't wait to show you uh, all the other new little critters I'm going to have in there for you guys. So thanks for tuning in this week, guys. Greatly appreciate that. Um, if you guys want to leave any comments uh, below, I'd definitely like to get back to you guys. And uh, if you could please subscribe and hit the like button, it'd be great. So have yourself a great night, guys. Bye.